Okay, this is attempt three or four at this. Nothing wants to cooperate tonight, but this isn't a, one of my usual videos. This is actually my first tier list video. Um, not Juggalo related, apparently. And uh, this is my tier list. My definitive tier list. Well, I wouldn't say it's definitive. It's, it's just my opinion. Uh, my tier list of Star Wars visual media, as in Star Wars um, series and movies. If you're not a Star Wars fan, you're not going to enjoy this video. Uh, if you are a Star Wars fan, you're going to get your pitchforks out and uh, you're going to want to kill me, but that's okay. Plenty of people want to kill me. I'm at peace with it. But anyways, this is my tier list. Um, I'm not doing any video games, even though most of the Star Wars media I've consumed was via video games. There's just so fucking many <laughs> Star Wars games that this would be, this would be like a five hour video. So I'm going to keep it just towards movies and shows. Okay. And, uh, I know the popular thing is to, um, uh, for these tier list videos is to take them in order that they're posted here, but I'm going to do my best to go in chron in for like in universe chronological order, if that makes sense. Like like the the events that they occur to in universe to the best of my ability. I think I think that would be uh, more concise. But uh, anyway, get uh, get your torches and pitchforks ready, uh, my fellow nerds. Here we go. Okay, where there it is. Star Wars Episode One. The Phantom Menace. Now, as a kid, I liked this movie, started liking this movie. Um, then as I got, be I became more of a Star Wars fan, I started to hate it. Uh, and then after that, now as an adult, you know, it's not that bad. Um, looking back, I mean, yeah, it had Jar Jar and it had, it had the <laughs> badly written lines for that kid who was Anakin. Um, but, you know, it's not... Oh, shit. What the fuck? Come on. It's not really the end of the world. So, uh, I think I'm going to put this... Hmm. I'm going to put it in... I'm going to put it in D. Uh, it's not It's not a complete fail. I mean, this introduced Darth Maul. It had Liam Neeson. Like, it's 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 not... In fact, you know what? You know what? I'd, I'd wager to even give it a C. You know? Just... That's kind of like below, below average, you know? Uh, okay, what? My, I need a new fucking mouse. This is, this is atrocious. This one's been through uh, a lot, a lot. But where, oh where, there it is. Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. F, F. This is, that is the weakest, weakest of the entire prequel trilogy. It is, dude, the dialogue, the writing is so fucking cringe in that. I mean, not even, not, I don't even think Django Fett plus Sir Christopher Lee, the main character of humanity himself, could save that piece of shit. That, it, I, I can't, I can't fucking stand that movie. It's only good for memes, but you know what it is. But now, now we're getting into the Clone Wars. And there's several Clone Wars. Uh, let's see if I can tell which is which. Uh, okay, so I'm going to assume... Okay, so that's the series. No, this is the series. Okay, let's go with the movie first. Um, I really didn't like this movie. Uh, I'm going to give it a D. Uh, and it introduced Ahsoka Tano, right? And I love Ahsoka Tano. She's a great, I think she's a great Star Wars character. But I didn't fuck with that movie, man. I did not fuck with that movie one bit, bro. Now, up next is, where'd it go? Here, yeah, here we go. Clone Wars the series. Clone Wars the series was a bit better. So, let's see if I could do this. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to put Clone Wars the series in C. Uh, Dave Filoni, a uh, great writer, one of the best that's ever touched Star Wars. But I just, I couldn't fuck with CGI Star Wars, man. I I, I just, I didn't like the, the animation style and 
uh, that whole like announcer thing at the beginning. And I get, I get what they were trying to do. They were trying to emulate like old 1930s serials, right? With that, like old, like adventure serials. I get what they were doing, but bro, it just, it threw me off, dude. And it's just like, this is, this is kind of fucking corny. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, okay. Now this, this isn't considered canon anymore, but I don't give a shit. Uh, Clone Wars Gendy Tartakovsky's animated series from 2002. Bro, Broski, Brosif, that is S. That is S tier Star Wars right there. Uh, and I think the whole thing is free on YouTube right now, bro. If you can't call yourself a Star Wars nerd without watching it, bro, it's pretty much Samurai Jack with a Star Wars skin. That, and that's all it needs to be. It's so fire. It's so fire. And it's part of the reason why I put CGI Clone Wars so low because it was so good that it made me mad at CGI Clone Wars for even existing. I'm like, yo, how dare you? <laughs> like you, it was perfect, bro. Like, oh my God. But you know, that's, that's, that's just me. That's just me. Come on, mouse. So we're out of the Clone Wars. Where, oh, where is Star Wars episode three? Revenge of the Damn Sith. There it is. Uh, this, I'm not super big on this movie either, but it is hands down the best of the prequel trilogy. The the best. You know, I'm going to fucking, I'm going to go as far. I'm going to put it in B. I'm going to put it in B tier. That'll be our first B. Star Wars Episode Three, man. Now, after that, we're going back to the CGI. Where is the Bad Batch? I... I tried really hard to get into the Bad Batch. I did. I did. When I still had my Disney Plus, bro, I was. I tried to watch it, but I don't know. You know, they didn't do that announcing thing at the beginning, at least not that I remember. But it's this. It's the same style of CGI that I do not fuck with, and I did not like Omega. I was not a fan of Omega one bit. So, you know, I'm still gonna say it's better. It's better than this fucking. Then the, the initial Clone Wars CGI movie, but so I'm gonna put it in C next to the series in episode one. You know, just kind of eh, eh, can go without it. Uh oh, by the way, let me just let me just sort this out right now. The stuff that is not out yet, okay? First of all, we got the Mandalorian and Grogu. I couldn't even find a poster for that. They don't even have that. Uh, but it's probably gonna probably gonna be a solid A tier, I would bet. Uh, the Acolyte, which we know nothing about. So that's going to go right there. And uh, the Ray movie, which I think uh, I think might be a strong D, sadly, if not an F. It's going to be it's going to be bad. OK, but let me just get those three out of the way. OK, where are we? So Bad Batch. Do, 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 do. Uh, where the fuck? One second. One second here. Oh, my mouse is got Tourette's syndrome. I swear. I swear. I swear. Now, where are you? Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Okay. So this show had its moments, right? It, it, it definitely, oh my God, it definitely had its moments, but, um, did I just lose that completely? Did that just fucking vanish? Did that just fucking vanish, bro? Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, it is. It's, it's in D. It's in D. Um, I'm not going to quite say it's a D. Uh, I'm going to put it up. Uh, I'm going to put it out up in B, man. It started really, really strong, and it, it, had its, it had its cool moments. It's not as good as it could have been. Um, uh, shouts out to the, to the little girl who played Little Leia, bro. Like, you know, that was, that was almost set up to be an annoying as fuck character, but she wasn't dude. Like, like I bought, I bought her 100% as little princess Leia. Like, so, you know, I, I, I appreciated her being there. Uh, I, maybe it might be a C I'm going to leave it in B. I'm going to leave it in B man. Uh, shit. What's next? What's next is definitely gotta be star Wars rebels. Okay. So this so this is the best, okay, of uh, of all those CGI series. This is the best one. They introduced new and interesting characters, and uh, you know they're they they got continued into Ahsoka, and um, 
I don't know, man. Solid show. Solid show. Introduced us to Chopper, man. You can't can't go wrong with old chop, Choppy Poppy, man. So, uh, do I want to put it in it? I know the general consensus is this is an S, but I'm not, again, I'm not super big on the, on the CGI. So, A or B, man. Uh, all right. I'll put it in A. I'll put it in A. Cause it's very, very well written and I'm not, I'm not trying to get crucified right away. Right. Uh, next, where is he? Where is he? And or, and or bro, go up, bro. Go up, bro. Oh, fuck. I need a new mouse. I need a new goddamn mouse. That's, that's the only, that's the only way around it, bro. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Andor, Andor's S. I might have fucked up the timeline here a little bit. Andor's S, dude. That is the, that is bar none. That is the best fucking Star Wars series. The best one. Like, it's not even a, a competent. I like, I like it more than Gendy Tartakovsky's Star Wars, or Clone Wars, I mean. Like, and, you know, I sing the praises of that shit all the time. So, I mean, that's saying a lot. I would say I even like it more than The Mandalorian, even though I love that. But Andor, solid S. Solid S, dude. Untouchable. Um, but here's where I feel like I fucked up the timeline. Uh, where is it? Fucking. Did I lose Han Solo, bro? Am I stupid? Did I fucking, where is Han Solo, dude? Did I already put it up here or am I tripping? Whatever, dude. Whatever, dude. We're going to Rogue One. We're going to Rogue One. And you know what? Rogue One, again. Again, bro. S. S. That is the, that's the best of, of the non-numbered Star Wars movies so far by a very, very large margin. Fucking large Marge. I want to know. Am I just blind or stupid? Did I like not put it here? Whatever, dude. Whatever. Let's go to original Star Wars. And here's where his people going to kill me. I'm not the biggest fan of episode four. I'm not. I don't think it's bad by any stretch, but it's. It's definitely the weakest of the original trilogy. You can, and you're going to be like, well, how could you say that? You know, it started, it kicked off the whole thing. Like, yeah, but I feel like the bar, the bar for fantasy sci-fi in 1977 was low as a motherfucker. So, you know, I like it. It's, it's, it's great, but it's going in B tier. It's going in B tier, but you know what? Time to avenge myself because we got... The Empire Strikes Back. Bro, I shouldn't even need to tell you. Oh, my God. Come on, Mouse. Come on, Mouse. Ah. Let's go up, 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 up. Okay, I shouldn't even need the Ah. I hate this. I hate this fucking mouse so much. I should have just bought a new one. But I'm in my face paint. Can you please go up? I'm scrolling up. Can you please go up, bro? There we go. That is solid S, bro. Solid S. Empire Strikes Back. That is hands down the best of the numbered Star Wars movies. Solid S right there. Premium Star Wars, dude. Premium fucking Star Wars. And then we get into Return of the Jedi. Now, Return of the Jedi, it gets a lot of, it gets a lot of undue hate that I, I don't, I don't think it deserves. It's, it's, it's generally thought as being the worst of the original trilogy, but I think I consider it so much better than episode four, bro. You know, it's, it's not a masterclass like fucking like empire strikes back, but you know what? It's going in a tier. Hell yeah, bro. Right there, it's solid A, solid A tier. Good Star Wars, bro. Good Star Wars. All right, so now we're getting into the time after, and this is where shit is gonna get hairy. Book of Boba Fett. I love Boba Fett. 
I wanted to love this show, but I, ju- man, I, mm, it started off strong, but it petered out like a motherfucker. I, it was great to see Cad Bane in live action. Um, it, the best episode was the one that was just a, a bonus Mandalorian episode. Like, dude, that's inexcusable, dude. Like, a book of Boba Fett, man, I, this hurts me to do. It's going in D. It's going in D, bro. I, I just, I couldn't fuck with it. I really, really couldn't. Oh, hey, bonus. Um, Let's do a little bonus here. Star Wars Visions. Now, if it were up to me, Star Wars Visions would be a solid A, but... I'm going to take everyone else's thoughts into account and not everybody is a big anime fan. Like I'm not even a huge anime fan, but there's certain animes that I like and there's certain anime studios that I like. And it's kind of like a showcase. If anyone remembers the animatrix, um, it's basically the animatrix for star Wars and it has two seasons, which is cool. Um, but I really, really like it. Uh, but I, I'm going to take everyone else's, uh, everyone else into effect. Cause not everyone is a big anime fan. So I'm going to put it in B. Good good B. Good B for Visions. Um, What's next? Oh, pfft, the Mandalorian, bro. The Mando motherfucking titty sucking two bald bitch ass. My fucking mouse won't work and get to the top of the page. Lorian, bro. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Mandalorian is S. I don't might not like it as much as Andor. But, bro, it's only, it's a slight step below it. And fuck all these people bitching, right, about, oh, my God, fucking Bo-Katan. I don't want to see Bo-Katan. I don't want want fucking, why is there a girl Mandalorian? Girls are dumb. Like, shut the fuck up, bro. It's such a great show, dude. It's so solid. Bro, I was a a juggalo Mandalorian at the gathering, dude. Of course I'm putting that in S. Oh, my God, dude. What's next? Ahsoka. Ahsoka is a solid fucking A, dude. Solid fucking A. Ahsoka, here's what I appreciate Ahsoka for, right? Number one, it's the first new shit that I think feels like OG Star Wars, right? Like Mandalorian kind of does, um, but Ahsoka is like all that, all that mysticalness and, and mystical magicalness that like it made everyone fall in love with Star Wars in the first place. It's all there. And as far as I can tell, it's, it's like the legitimate episode seven, if not episode seven and eight that, that Star Wars should have been right. And the sequel trilogy had the OG characters. So that's saying a lot. But what I really appreciate Ahsoka for is that it like accidentally made the the arguments for the sequel against the sequel trilogy valid. Let me explain. You see, what what is Kathleen Kennedy and, and, and Ryan Johnson and Daisy Ridley and I don't even know if Daisy Ridley said, really said this, but like, you know, the writers and producers and all that of the sequel trilogy. What's their main clapback about every uh, towards everyone that says the sequel trilogy sucks? They say you just don't like women. You just don't like uh, strong women. You just don't like women main main characters. They just keep prattling that off. But in comes Ahsoka. In comes a series that is almost entirely female cast, and it's the shit. It's the shit, dude. Like, so it, like it just existing by itself proves like, no, no, we don't hate women. We hate your shit writing, Ryan and JJ and Kathleen shit writing. And Ahsoka didn't have that. And it also introduced my favorite villain since Darth Vader fucking, um, uh, I keep thinking the girl is shin hottie. What's his name? Balin skull, Balin fucking skull, bro. R.I.P. Ray Stevenson. He came out and he was one of the dopest Star Wars villains of all time. And then he died, son. Fuck. R.I.P. my ninja. R.I.P. dude. Solid. Solid villain, bro. Probably my favorite. Um, And here we go, dude. 
Here we go, dude. Brace yourself. We're getting into the shit now. Okay, which is which here? Uh, that looks like episode seven. Star Wars episode seven. I didn't hate it as much as everyone else did. I think it's the best of the sequel trilogy for what that is worth. Um, I know everyone said it ripped off a new hope. Um, to be a play on words, it gave me hope for a new series, right? Because, yeah, it wasn't great, but the fact of the matter is, George Lucas went so overboard with the CGI in the, in the prequels that the fact that, number one, there's, there's creature makeup, there's puppets, there's practical fucking sets built again. You know, that alone, bro, that alone, not to mention it has the, uh, the same aesthetic as the OG Star Wars, right? The OG trilogy. That's another thing I didn't like the prequel trilogy for. It just completely changed up the, uh, the aesthetic and I didn't, I didn't really get it, but it, it gave me hope being false hope for the new trilogy. And, you know, I think it's just okay. So I am going to put it in C tier because why not? Why not? Why not? <sighs> Star Wars episode eight. This is the one that everyone claims is the worst Star Wars ever made. I, I, I disagree. I fucking disagree. I don't think it's great, but uh, I don't think it's as bad as it could have been. So, you know what? I'm just going to put it in D. Um, uh, it's, I, you could go without it. <laughs> Let's just say that. And here we go, fam. Here we go. Star Wars Episode Nine: The, the Rise of Skywalker. Return of Skywalker, Rise of Sky. I don't even remember the subtitle. Star Wars Episode Nine. I consider to be the worst, worst piece of Star Wars media I have ever consumed. It's going, okay, so it's going in F next to episode two, but as much as I hate episode two, I will sooner watch Star Wars episode two every single day for the rest of my life than ever set my eyes on episode nine again. Episode nine was the most rushed, cash grab, bullshit, unimaginative fucking Star Wars movie I have ever fucking seen, dude. They fly now, they fly now, yeah. Get the f And you know, Star Wars, you know, episode two and three, right? They can be meme fuel. But they're mean fuel for funny memes. Episode nine is like unfunny memes in in response to shit you don't like. That and dude, oh my god, bringing Palpatine back, man. They brought Palpatine back just for fan service. Out of all the big bads and scary imaginative fucking villains in the Star Wars universe in canon, out of canon, doesn't matter. They had so much to choose from. And you have Palpatine for not one, not two, but three motherfucking trilogies as the big bad. Are there, is, is he the only evil motherfucker in the galaxy, dude? Oh, uh, dude, oh my god, I, hmm. I'm going to calm down. I hate episode nine. I hate it. I hate it. Hate it. Hate it, bro. Oh, and oh my God, the death of Chewie, bro. Let me talk about the death of Chewie. Spoilers, Chewie didn't die in the final cut. But there's a scene in the movie where Ray accidentally shoots lightning at a carrier, at a, at, a, at, a, at a prisoner carrier, prisoner transport with Chewie in it. And originally in the original script, that Chewie fucking died right there unceremoniously. And the script leaked. So these dumb shits just, just rushed Chewie back. So there's a, a Chewie fake out death for just no fucking reason at all. And, and you can tell that y'all climbed over each other to write this script. Oh my God. I, oh, I could rant on episode nine for like, for like hours, dude, hours. But before I go, before I end this video, I fucked up. I don't have an image of Solo, a Star Wars movie, but it would be in D tier. I'd put it in D tier. I wanted to like, yeah. I didn't want to like Solo, but I thought it'd be better. Um, 
I'm going to say fucking Donald Glover, Childish Gambino as young Lando killed it, killed it. He, but he was the best thing about that fucking movie. Uh, that guy, I didn't buy that guy as Han Solo. Uh, I didn't, I didn't like the liberation droid side storyline. Like, I, I don't know, man. It's, it's a D it's a D from me, but, uh, hopefully, hopefully, I can I can post this because this is my first time with StreamYard and it's <laughs> it's a whole thing. But yeah, that has been my 20, 26 minute long Star Wars tier list. <sighs> whoop whoop, my wonderful friends, and fuck yo sleep. Wait, save this. End recording.